celebration reading for the sun moon and rising liberants i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is the month of october and it is going to be your month you liberants because this is going to be a zero positive month whatever the situation is in your life you are going to see wonderful extremely wonderful positive energies that are going to come up so we are going to take a look and see what is going on in the life of the Librans. <laughs> it's going to be wonderful, you Librans. Whatever the situation is going to be, it's going to be wonderful. So, this month has four weeks. The zodiac energy is the energy of the looked, it is the energy of justice. There's a portal, there's an opening. Um, happening for you liberals and it is a zero positive is a zero positive opening okay what I'm seeing here is the five um, the five from water the five from water and for you liberals because I saw the energy of the lovers is in reverse so whatever is happening for you liberals there is going to be regrets whatever this regrets is um you know it's not going to be a loss of something but it's going to be that you wish you didn't had done something so the five of war is relief um releasing grief allowing sadness to raise and fall forgiveness is the key the embryo and the flow of emotion. So a lot of you air signs are releasing in this month of October. A lot of you air signs are releasing in this month of October. So let's go on. And this is for the men. This is this releasing is going to affect the men in the month of October. So whatever the situation is, whatever you men are releasing, um, it is emotional unbalance that you men are releasing and this is going to be good because at the end of the day you are going to feel better about yourself as we look at the first week for you liberals we have the energy of the hangman what is bringing on the energy of this hangman is that you and this, this, this is something else because it is an energy that um, some people are in love with their best friend, but they don't know what to do with the situation. This is a situation that some people are going to fall in love with their best friend, but they're not sure what they're supposed to do with this situation. Some people are scared. And it's as if you have this very good friend and you fell in love with this person, but you are scared because you don't know how to deal with it. So you're in a limbo stage. This is actually good people because your best friend, to fall in love with your best friend, that will be the best relationship you will ever have. Okay. Sometimes the sex is good. Sometimes it's not good. But when people fall in love with their best friends, and this is a situation that you fall in love with your best friend, and as if you want to be with them day and night, you're um, feeling as if uh, you want to have this person in your atmosphere, but you don't want them to know, and you don't want to let them know how much you feel for them. And this is this is actually good because your best friend being your lovers, but you are in limbo with this because you are in love with this person but you do not want to let this person know how you feel and I think the best thing to do in this week is to let this person know because some of you are going to be having this sort of an energy that is around you let this person know how you feel and you're going to see how this relationship is going to become positive and here we are here we are the second week you have the ace of wands the new um situation is coming in your life and we also have the energy of the seven of cups new positive um connections um this can be for some people in jobs but this is a card of 
contracts a card of marriage a card of getting work a card of uh, working together a card of a lot if you have a business expect in the second week that your business is going to boom um, so um, you're going to have clients that you are surprised that you could achieve this for some people a new beginning is coming in with relationships um, for people who have um, left their relationship behind new opportunities new people are coming in and love and marriage is coming in but this is a situation where it's telling a lot of people there's a lot of fishes out there in the sea and it's also telling a lot of people that this can be the person okay let's wait until the love session to see exactly what is happening as we go to the third week what energy do we have here we have the energy of the Emperor this is a wonderful and a positive thing because this is about your work situation and it can be a situation of your father you have the eight of um, the eight of swords so for some people they're not seeing a work situation and um, whatever that was blocking is now lifted so if you had a situation with your work where you felt as if there was blockage and you're not seeing the situation it's going to be lifted and you know maybe you think that you're not doing a good job but you are so you need not worry about your work situation it can be also a situation that you're having um, a, a, a situation with um, your father a father figure and your stability to build something um, in your life but it's going to be good okay you need not worry ladies and gentlemen again you need not worry because whatever that was blocking is now in um, the opposite so it's not affecting your work uh, anymore you are moving into new directions and new things in your life as we move on we have the energy of the hermit in the last week so this uh, the last week is the week of um, um, Pluto and uh, the hermit is asking you to go within and why especially for the women the six of ones is a good um, especially for the women go within there is a victory that is coming up for you women go within and connect with yourself because there's a huge victory for you liberal women who are coming out but this victory is actually for the liberal men you're going to find the love of your life these liberal men are going to find the love of your life as you look up here there is a key and the key is saying that this is the woman for you this connection the six of ones this is the person for you you are going to know within yourself that you have the key to your relationship this is the woman that is um, that you have met in the beginning your best friend that is the person for you and this is you are going to know this um, within yourself this is wonderful because whoever you are there is a solution the second time the key come up whatever problem there is with a relationship a friendship that has turned to love it's is going to work out perfectly it is going to work out um, even be better than you were wishing and hoping for okay we're going to go and look at the energy of love for you um, liberals for you liberals um, it is positive a lot of you liberals it's as if there you have known someone in your life who has been a very very good friend and you are so connected to this person and this relationship is going to become a relationship of real true love love that is beyond the sense what you were feeling and you are understanding for yourself and some people are going to um, be so devoted to this person and um, this friend this this friendship is going to become um, 
um, the love of your life. It's you, it's as if you are going to say, yeah, this is the person who I was looking for. Uh, you're going to be very devoted to this person, 100%. Okay, so you, a Librans, and it's the men, um, in the first and second week, you are going to realize that your best friend, somebody who you have known for a very long time, is the person that you have been looking for your entire life. Okay, um, in the third week, it's all about. Uh, um your work is all about thinking about your work where is this going um but at the end of the day in the fourth week you realize that yes this is the woman i want to spend the rest of my life with this is the person i've been dreaming and looking forward um to and this is you're going to know that this is the person you want to spend the rest of your life with some people are going to ask the ends of a marriage and um, some people are going to take on this person in a serious relationship and ask for a contract some women are going to be asked the end of marriage in the month uh, women or men uh, men are going to be asking and women are going to be accepting and vice versa so whoever your best friend is and was you are going to be really in love with this person and know that this is the person you have been waiting for and looking for your entire life okay that was love wow let's go and look at the zodiac energy i love love i vibrate the energy vibration of love i love when people find out that their best friends are the people who they want to spend the rest of their life with whatever is happening for you people there are no regrets you are being understanding and being happy and we're going to look and see what the sun people what is going to happen there's a lot of um um really there is a lot of um, luck that is coming in for you Gemini Sun people so if you were born at uh, six o'clock in the morning between the hours of six o'clock in the morning you Sun people whatever is happening if you were born um, within the hours of uh, 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Um, you are going to be working with uh, um, Jupiter the planet of Jupiter is bringing luck for you and Mercury is bringing you the energy of the magician which is going to bring miracle in your life and the energy of the Aries which is a wonderful wonderful energies because the Aries are going to teach you how to be passionate about who you are as we move on we are having the energy vibration of uh, um, the lunar energy and those are the people who were born uh, 6 p.m. till 6 a.m. and you have to work with Pluto and yeah and Pluto Uranus and um, Mars is that Mars um, Taurus uh, Remainus and Taurus so this is good because you are working with two planets Uranus uh, and um, and you're also working with Taurus which is extremely good so these are positive energies that is coming in for you Luna people it's not going to be one of such an art energy it is going to be a positive energies for you guys so this is actually going to be wonderful for you Librans work in this energy because you know the the thing is that uh, whenever um, Pluto comes in your life Pluto is going to just move things you know Pluto is going to wake you up Pluto is going to make you go that distance and that is um, very good I'm working with the angels of abundance and I'm asking the angels to show us what is here for the Librans in the month of October because it's one of your lucky months uh, expansion and it says exercise to increase your energy and uh, manifest the manifestation abilities the key to manifest quickly is to have high energy level and the, uh, the earliest way to increase them is through physical exercise chose a fun and meaningful activity so that you will look forward 
to exercise and it becomes its own reward so exercise is going to be the key to manifest whatever you would like to begin bring in in your life and this is wonderful and very positive and I want to say ladies and gentlemen please listen to your Sun moon and rising Sun it's very important um, I want to say to each and every person out there this is going to be a wonderful month for you um, 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 liberants it's going to be a very positive month especially in love it's going to be wonderful so I want to say to each and one of you I'm sending you pure love and light and I'm wishing you one of the most beautiful months because it is going to be for you liberals. And I'm using